And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey, everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at Trudeau the coward, the hider, as we investigate the snowball rolling downhill that is the trucking protest. That is the freedom protest. Now, as you're probably aware, as soon as the freedom protest took over Ottawa, this coward of a man ran away, didn't he? Went and hid in Vancouver Island. Well, it seems that he's not done with his running away because he seems to be a running trend with this man as he has run away from parliament why was that because they were asking questions about when he was going to list lift the mandate so he's run away again seems to do a lot of that is this a running trend canada <laughs> well it seems that the snowball that is working class people protesting these mandates has escalated the protest worldwide as it seems that they've actually spread throughout europe including to france now you're probably wondering what What's going to be happening in France considering all of the threats and the name calling and the smears that the Canadians have done I can't see the French being much, di much different but the people of France have had enough as well and they've actually said that they're going to do a freedom convoy that heads into Paris on Saturday now of course the Parisian Parliament and the MPs of the nation are absolutely cacking themselves just like true docs the little coward and have decided that they're going to allow the police to bar entry of a freedom convoy to the capital. How exactly? Are they breaking a law by driving into your capital all of a sudden? Is this how are you going to bar them from entry, you absolute buffoons? And even if you could, I very much guarantee you will if, the, if they get the same sort of numbers as Canada have got. And that's not all, everyone. That's not all. They're not done with that. Not just are they saying you can't come, but they're actually saying if you do, we're going to arrest you all and place you for two years in prison. I I beg to differ. I very much doubt, France, that you have the capacity in your prisons to even do this. This is threat politics, everyone. France, if you're listening, go anyway. Now, they're saying that they're going to give you a driving ban and 4,500 euro fine for the pro protesters. But how are they going to prove that you were protesting? You were just in your city, were you not? Absolutely ridiculous. And it just proves that they are terrified of the working one. And before I go on this one, everyone, I'd like to issue a statement that Thomas and Thomas Thomas Jefferson, one of the founding fathers, actually said, which are very, very wise words and seem to be appearing now. Does the government fear us, he said, or do we fear the government? When the people fear the government, tyranny has found victory. The federal government is our servant, not our master. So as you can see, this is overreach in a massive, massive way by the police in France, by the government in France, by the government in Canada, and lastly, even Brussels have banned the Freedom Convoy. Scared much, are you, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> so this is more proof that now, now we are in the position where we scare the government. And when we scare the government, freedom is what we get. About time, everyone. About time. Well done. Stay strong. I'll see you on the next one.